This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to use long range LoRa SX1278 transceiver modules with Raspberry Pi Pico and Raspberry Pi Pico W. If you want, you can also use the same Raspberry Pi Pico boards since they have got the same pins layout. But the reason I'm using these two different versions of the Raspberry Pi Pico boards is because in my next video, I'll make an IoT gateway using LoRa and Raspberry Pi Pico W. You know, just like the Arduino ESP8266, STM32, ESP32, etc. You can also program the Raspberry Pi Pico and Raspberry Pi Pico W using Arduino IDE. So if you want to learn how to get started with Raspberry Pi Pico and Arduino IDE, then you should watch my getting started video on the Raspberry Pi Pico W and Adafruit I.O. Anyway, for now, as a beginner, you should only focus on how to wirelessly send sensor data from a transmitter Raspberry Pi Pico to a receiver Raspberry Pi Pico W using LoRa transceiver modules because once you learn how to wirelessly send data from Raspberry Pi Pico to Raspberry Pi Pico W, then building an IoT gateway is a piece of cake as Raspberry Pi Pico W can be connected with different IoT platforms. And by the way, I have already demonstrated this in my getting started video on the Raspberry Pi Pico W and Adafruit I.O. Anyway, here is a prototype model of my Raspberry Pi Pico and LoRa based long range sensor monitoring system. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagrams which I will explain in a minute. This is the transmitter side based on the Raspberry Pi Pico along which a potentiometer and SX1278 LoRa transceiver module are connected. The Raspberry Pi Pico reads the potentiometer which I am using as a sensor and sends the potentiometer readings to the remote side receiver using the LoRa transceiver module. And this is the receiver side based on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. It has been connected with an I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD and an SX1278 LoRa transceiver module. If you want, you can also use an I2C supported SSD1306 or LED display module. I have already used it in so many projects. The Raspberry Pi Pico W takes the data from the LoRa and prints it on the 16 into 2 LCD. So let's go ahead and start our practical demonstration. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description.
I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Sun Founder and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. 3.3 volt and ground pins of the LoRa SX1278 are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico 3.3 volt and ground pins, while the NSS, MISO, SCK, and MOSI pins of the LoRa SX1278 transceiver module are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico. GPIO pins 8, 16, 18 and 19. The potentiometer is connected with the GP26A0 which is an analog pin. This is the receiver side circuit diagram. You can see the LoRa SX1278 connection with the Raspberry Pi Pico W remains exactly the same. The VCC pin of the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD is connected with a VBUS which is the 5 volt pin and obviously the grounds are connected together. The SDA and SCL pins of the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD are connected with the GP0 and GP1. As per the pins layout diagram, GP0 is the SDA and GP1 is the SCL. So that's all about the receiver side circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the transmitter and receiver side programming. This is the transmitter side programming and this is the receiver side programming as usual. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Let's start with the transmitter side programming. If you have watched my previous videos on the Arduino and LoRa, then I'm sure you should have noticed that I'm using the same libraries and the same program. Only the pin numbers are different. So it means you can convert all my Arduino and LoRa based projects into Raspberry Pi Pico and LoRa based projects. Now let's take a look at the receiver side programming. Even on the receiver side, I'm using the same exact program which I've been using with the Arduino. The only modification is the addition of the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD library. The I2C supported 16 into 2 library I have been using with the Arduino doesn't work with the Raspberry Pi Pico. So after searching for hours, finally I found this library that works with the Raspberry Pi Pico. Make sure you save these .h and .cpp files in the same folder with this main programming file. You can download this library from the article available on electronicclinic.com. So that's all for now. And now let's watch the Raspberry Pi Pico and LoRa based long range wireless sensor monitoring system in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode and thanks for watching.